Hi, welcome to a new video. My name's Lee. If you're new here, I'm a full-time freelance artist, and in this video, we're gonna do a voiceover where I talk about starting your own YouTube channel, and then I'm gonna make two pieces on wood panel. The first one is with acrylic paint with neo color wax pastels, and then the second piece is gonna be oil pastels. That's gonna be the whole thing. So like the video, it's gonna be so good. Subscribe to my channel if you're not, and grab some water to drink during this 10 minute video. I posted on Instagram and asked for some questions for this voiceover, and I get the question about how to start a YouTube channel, advice to start a YouTube channel a lot. And I've talked about it a bit on my Patreon, on my podcast and in my videos there, but I don't feel like I've talked about it much on my public YouTube videos. So we're just gonna, we're gonna run through some bullet points of advice for starting a YouTube channel. I've had my YouTube channel for like six or seven years now, maybe even longer. I just made that up. Truly, I just made that up. I don't know. I really don't know how long I've been doing this. And I really enjoy it at times. There are times where I don't enjoy it, but I feel like a, a lot of artists watch these kind of YouTube videos and want to start their own. And it, it lingers in their head for a long time. I feel like a lot of people are in like a middle ground where like the idea of starting it is very enticing, but you can't get the the step to actually starting it yet. But starting your YouTube channel will always feel weird. It will always feel weird and it takes a while to get comfortable and find your groove. It's a huge learning curve to be able to talk to a camera like you're normal. Like to find your real personality in front of a camera just takes a little while. And I think that deters people a bit when they start. Um, so just know if you decide to start and you're like, what am I doing in front of this camera just saying random stuff? That's just kind of how it feels. And you will eventually, maybe, get a little more comfortable. Um, you also will just like gradually find a niche where you feel, you feel good. Like you figure out your, your way of making videos. It's like anything. Starting anything just feels weird and you're not good at it and you want to quit. But just know. I think everyone starts and feels super weird. Another point is just try it. The beauty of starting a new YouTube channel is that no one is subscribed to you and no one's gonna see your videos. So it's almost private and it's like a little trial run before you start to get people watching your videos, which I think is kind of lovely in a way. You also can make videos. You can try out making videos and not even post them. Like, you don't have to post it just because you made it. You can, like, truly do private trial runs of your videos, watch them back, and cringe at yourself if, if it need be. So that's what I would do if I was starting fresh right now. Also, before you invest in all the fancy equipment and stuff, I, phones are, like, truly good enough to try out to see if you like making videos because editing videos is a huge it's a it's a big task it's not casual it's not like i'm editing videos and i'm having the time of my life and i'm like this is very fun i will admit the reward of the video is usually worth it but sometimes it's truly not sometimes the editing process depending on how hard you go is truly painful um so if you get into editing and you're like this sucks it just does i'm sure there's some people out there that like love video editing but i feel like most people aren't that person so just keep that in mind that video editing is not fun but you you won't know if you like it or not until you start um if you're hem if you're one of those people who's sitting in some decision limbo which is the worst place to be and you're hemming and hawing about if you want to start your youtube channel if you don't want to start your YouTube channel and you're just like, one day I'm going to start my YouTube channel, but probably not today. Make the decision now. I'm a big believer in quick decisions and just like, if you have an idea, just try it and see if you like it. Because trying it is going to be your deciding factor of, do I like making videos or do I not like making videos? Like you won't know until you give it a go. So... There's also the option of not making YouTube videos. Like, I think it's a very romanticized platform and you watch the videos and you're like, this is really beautiful that this person is documenting their job and their process or whatever kind of videos you like. And that feels like appealing to make that for yourself. 
but it's it's not for everyone and that's okay making youtube videos is definitely something like most things that should be enjoyable to make to an extent like i said video editing isn't fun i don't find video editing that fun but i don't find it that not fun you know what i mean there's a delicate balance there if you don't find your videos enjoyable to make, I think it's very discouraging when you start because growth from videos is very slow, at least when I started. And also, if you're watching this video and you wanna make an art YouTube channel like mine, it's a pretty saturated field now. I think when I started, it was a little less saturated, which was a luxury for me, which I can only, I can only speak from my own experience here, but if you don't enjoy making videos, it's not gonna feel worth it because it's gonna feel like you're putting a lot of work in for not a lot of result. Meaning like subscribers, likes, comments, interactions, stuff like that. You're just not guaranteed viewers. That can be hard to deal with because videos are so time consuming and you put so much love and work into them. And sometimes when you're starting out, you make a really good video and people just won't see it. So that's also something that's really hard to deal with. Um, that's also true for most social media platforms. Like you make something you're really proud of and just people won't see it. So it has to be valuable to you. Like that has to be enough for you when you start. Something else that I struggled with when I started making YouTube videos was finding my genuine self in front of the camera. I feel like a lot of channels that are successful are run by people who are very genuine and authentic on camera and they make things that they truly love and can be themselves. The viewers can see that. I mean, at, when I am a viewer, I feel like I can see if people are being them, their genuine selves. I don't know how I tell and I don't know how to truly be authentic and genuine in yourself, but I was stuck in a little bit of a trap right when I started my YouTube channel where I was leaning more into acting like a YouTuber than acting like myself because it was just a little more comfortable to put on like a persona and become a quote unquote YouTuber and not be me because I feel like everyone kind of looks at their own personality in themselves and they're like, I'm not very interesting. I'm not like I'm not as interesting as the people I see on YouTube and I don't really know how to present that anyways. If you find yourself kind of feeling like you're not yourself on camera, I do think you will find your authentic genuine genuine self on YouTube if you continue doing it cuz that worked for me and it should work for you too, right? That that's that was a weird thing. That was very weird. I would watch myself back with me or some friends and family and they'd be like, who am I watching? Who is this? And still to this day, when I post YouTube videos and James watches them, who is my assistant and best friend of like 10 years, he still is like, who's this person? So like, I don't feel like I've truly reached a point where I am like my real self when I'm just like chilling on my videos. I'm still like presenting a, an energetic personality, but it is still like a genuine part of me that I'm presenting. So if you start your YouTube channel and you're like, why am I acting so weird on camera? You'll get there. You'll, you'll, you'll get to a place where you're like, maybe I do know who this person is. They are, they are someone I, I would believe to be me. You know what I mean? And maybe that was just a personal experience, but it, it maybe it's not. Another thing that helped me gain some traction on YouTube was to check out the other channels in the niche that I wanted to be in, see which videos were most popular on their channels and try and create my own version of them. For me, it was sketchbook tours, which is a pretty straightforward type of video. And it gets people to just click on a new channel because they want to see your sketchbook. And if they can connect with that video, they will be more interested in checking out your other videos like vlogs and stuff that people are less likely to just like click a new person's vlog. Like I'm not likely to click that. It's more like I'm looking for something I can benefit from. So like whatever videos that you feel like you would click on a new channel, try and make those kind of videos at the beginning if you're into that. If you're not into that, make whatever you want truly if it makes you happy. So take it or leave it. 
And that's all my, my advice. I hope that it was helpful in a way. It was very rambly and it was all based on my own personal experience and I hope it helped you in some way or form. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like it if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. And I want to give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons who support me and allow me to make just a couple videos a month on YouTube and have my job in general. So thank you for watching again. I will see you in the next one. Bye.